pretty much everything you need to know about Tamian using a Shadow Main in Ark Survival Evolved. Shadow Mains can only be located within the western regions of the Ark Genesis Part 2 DLC map. Using a tech transmitter, I was able to scan and locate the Shadow Mains across the map, which reveal the following coordinates for current spawns. Shadow Mains are inactive during the daytime while they sleep, purring like innocent little demon fish kittens. They awaken during the nighttime to run around and kill everything in sight because Wildcard likes to f you any chance they get. If you're having trouble locating them, just look around for the bloody paw prints and glowing visage of what can only be described as a drug-induced fever dream to bag yourself a catfish! Oh, I see what they did there. So how do you go about taming one of these lion, salmon, scorpion wannabes? Well, Shadow Manes are passively tamed by feeding them while they're inactive during the daytime. How do you possibly feed a savage creature food without it instantly tearing you apart, you might ask? Well, don't ask, because it doesn't make any sense, but I have to make this tutorial, so suspend your disbelief and just go with it. So as I was saying, Shadow Manes are passively fed like other creatures in Ark, however their food preference is certainly unique. Shadow Manes are fed fish baskets filled with fish that are over 0.5 plus in weight. The bigger the fish in the basket, the quicker it will tame and the higher the effectiveness will be. You will have to have a stockpile of fish baskets within your inventory before you begin the taming process, as Shadow Manes become a very active tame once you start. For those of you who are unfamiliar, fish baskets were an item introduced with the Aberration Expansion Pack. Fish baskets are available level 13 and require 6 engram points to unlock. Fish baskets are used to catch and tame wild fish by placing it into a body of water and waiting until the fish swims close by, then pressing the E key on PC to catch it. There is a short initialization timer that you have to wait for before you can catch a fish. It's recommended to first kill all of the smaller fish in the area so that you don't catch one of them by mistake. I found that placing multiple fish baskets down in an area is the best method for catching fish given their sporadic movement. The type and level of the fish doesn't matter, only the size. To test this, I spawned and trapped two level 150 Sabertooth Salmon, one at 1.5x size and the other one at 2.4x size. The 1.5x fish provided 15.8% taming effectiveness on a 150 Shadow Main, while the 2.4x fish provided 226 Fish baskets have a spoil timer attached to them and cannot be lengthened by placing them inside of a refrigerator or inside of a canoe. To reset the timer, you'll have to release and recapture your tamed fish. To do this, simply go to a body of water and use the release option on the fish basket. To recapture the fish, simply- OH SON OF A bitch! So to reset the spoil timer, simply go to a body of water and use the release option. Place down another fish basket, wait for the timer, and catch the fish all over again. Once you've acquired enough fish baskets, place one of them in the last slot of your hotbar so that you'll see the prompt to feed the shadow main once you're close enough. I would highly recommend wearing ghillie armor and using bug repellent and cactus broth during the taming process to avoid all the aggression of nearby creatures. Crouching and approaching it from the sides or the rear will decrease the chances of it seeing you. The shadow main has to be sleeping in order for it to be fed, and once you're close enough, you'll see the prompt to feed it. Once the shadow main takes a bite, it will immediately turn invisible and start leaving, because f you. Back away slowly while still crouched to avoid aggroing it. The shadow main will leave faint glowing footprints as it walks around invisible, but the best way of keeping tabs on it is using the taming tracking system. Make sure you're not too close to the shadow main once it leaves stealth, otherwise it will destroy your face. Simply repeat this process of feeding it a fish basket to complete the taming process. If the shadow main happens to aggro you, sprint away as quickly as you can, give it some time to lose aggro, and sneak back in to resume the process. Due to the dangerous, active nature of taming a shadow main, I would recommend one of the following methods to make your life easier. Method number one is to sneak up on the shadow main while it's sleeping and quickly build a structure around it to prevent it from walking away once you begin feeding it. Using gateways and gates is your best option because they can be very quickly placed down while still in its resting phase. Just be sure to leave a few gaps so you can walk in and out freely. Once it's trapped inside, you can begin the taming process as normal without having to worry about it wandering away. Just be aware that if it aggroes you and you don't sprint away quickly enough, it can teleport outside of the trap and chase you down. Method number two is to use the newly added net projectile to immobilize the shadow main while you construct a structure around it. You will have a solid minute to do this, which certainly buys you much more time than the first method, although the shadow main will be aggressive afterwards. This means that you will have to have the structure in place and be out of aggro distance before the one minute timer is up, after which you can begin the taming process as aforementioned. Once the Shadow Mane has been tamed, it can be ridden straight away without having to craft a saddle. Shadow Mains will eat raw meat as their food source from here on out. Alright, so let's dive into the controls and functionality of the Shadow Mane to showcase some of what it can do. Shadow Mains are predominantly pack creatures and receive different buffs depending on if there are other Shadow Mains nearby. The highest level of the pack will receive an alpha buff, similar to a Dire Wolf or an Allosaurus. On top of receiving extra damage from a mate boost, Shadow Mains also gain different abilities depending on the gender that you're currently riding, as well as if there's an opposite gender nearby. 
Shadow Manes feature left mouse button primary attack that does moderate damage, as well as a special heavy attack that does high damage performed by holding the left mouse button down. Using this heavy attack will drain their special bar, unless they kill a creature that it's being used on, in which case it instantly refills. Pressing the right mouse button twice will select a creature you're looking at and perform a teleporting strike ability. Holding the right mouse button down will create a glowing sphere around the Shadow Mane that selects all nearby creatures, and releasing that right mouse button causes you to chain teleport to each target. Each of these teleporting abilities stuns the enemy for a short time afterwards. Pressing the space bar will allow you to perform some basic jumps, while holding the space bar will allow you to jump from the island to f***ing aberration, because this jump is insane! Pressing the C key will turn the Shadow Mane invisible. If you're riding a female Shadow Mane under the effects of a mate boost from a nearby male Shadow Mane, this ability will turn every nearby allied creature invisible as well. Pressing the X key or holding down the C key while riding a male Shadow Mane that is mate boosted by a nearby female will perform a Courageous Roar ability. This roar heavily increases your damage and movement speed while increasing stamina and torpidity recovery. Shadow Mains deal passive damage to melee attackers and apply a damage over time effect that lasts for a short time afterwards. Shadow Mains feature some pretty high base movement speed that is further augmented when receiving the hydration buff when touching water, similar to the Spinosaurus or Tropical Wyvern. This buff greatly increases their movement speed, health recovery, and damage. Shadow Mains are immune to fall damage and have no oxygen stat, meaning that they can breathe underwater indefinitely. Shadow Mains don't require a saddle in order to ride, and come naturally fitted with armor that scales based on the level of the Shadow Mane when it was tamed. Leveling up the Shadow Mane via mutagens will not have an effect on unnatural armor. Shadow Mains are capable of transporting up to two survivors at a time, similar to the Gallimimus. So with all of this functionality in mind, what is the Shadow Mane's main use? aside from disposing of fish baskets faster than a Japanese sushi bar. Well, the Shadow Mane boasts a lot of unique characteristics that make it versatile in a lot of different roles, but if I had to narrow it down, I would say the Shadow Mane is best used as a travel mount or as a combat mount. If a travel mount is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into stamina, weight, and movement speed, with optional point investment into health for survivability. The Shadow Mane's base movement speed is faster than most other creatures in the game, and is capable of traversing any form of terrain very quickly with the versatile jumping mechanics. Couple this with their infinite oxygen stat and no fall damage, and you have yourself a very versatile travel companion. If a combat mount is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into health, stamina, and damage. The Shadow Mane's base attack damage is fairly high, and becomes heavily increased when mate boosted and receiving the alpha buff. When stacked with the Courageous Roar ability that a male Shadow Mane can provide, their base DPS can quickly scale up to par with the other meta boss battle dinos in the game. Their heavy attacks are capable of dishing out a ton of damage in a short amount of time, and their ability to teleport to multiple targets and stun them provides a large upper hand in most combat situations. Alright, that about wraps up this video! Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed, please go down below and press that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and keep leaving me comments because... Ah!